so first start by creating the camera. Uh, go to create camera and uh, go to panels, perspective and camera. So I'll just see from my cam over there. I go to view image frame import image. So first you need to match the camera how that camera is going to create. Open it and add it. Okay, so we have this grid, so we can start adjusting the grid according to this image only. Why the image is not made? Image is not made, that is the background of the camera. So that is an image plane, so I just want to fix the camera, uh, whatever the grid according to this uh, level of this camera over here. So if I just fix that, so it will be easy for us to do the modeling part of this. So let's start adjusting. Uh, the rotation of the camera also can be start sitting as of this. And if you want to adjust little bit of focal length of the camera also can be start this. So let's try to see. Let's see. Yes, half, yes, half. Okay, so just try fixing the camera now. Select the camera. And we just start checking what is the resolution of this image is first. And the same resolution I just had to check in the render setting. So this is 1920, 1080. So inside this, you go to render settings now. Render settings. And change it over here the same size. So 1920, 1080. Then go to view, camera settings, and we have something called resolution gate. So here we can just see that we have resolution gate as well as a fix. It will fit to that gate now. So now it is fine. So press fine, and we have this grid over here. Let's try fixing that according to so how much we want to adjust the rotation of this, we can start adjusting. And if you see that there is some focal length change over here, you can also select the camera. And here we have the focal length of the camera. So this you can change it. So you can just make it less. And then you try to scale it. I have set up the camera. So you have to go to create camera. Okay, so now I have this uh, setup over here. So, what is the focal length? We can just set it uh, by adjusting. If it is less focal length, we can see more distortion inside this image. So, that's what it will do uh, when you adjust the focal length of the camera. If it is very less, you see more distorted view of that. So, by default, it will be 35. Press F Okay, so that is the default uh, camera which we have it over here. So you can just fix it. Just want to fix more. Now I will just see this. So press 4 on your keyboard to see that. I think it will match this to this level properly. So I have the grid proper. Little down you want to add. Little down, little rotation. So this is little angle over here. And once I fix that, so it is easy for us to do the model part of it. So how much I just want it to fix this. So I select the camera and lock it. So I don't want to adjust the camera now. So lock selected. And this is done. Now I can just start modeling this part. So select this edge. Go to edge. Shift right, extrude it, press W. Pull this up. Press this part. And let's start adding this uh, segment on it. So go to this option, right click, insert edge loop tool, add one point. And again, let's see this vertex on it. So just go to the vertex, start adjusting. Just fill this part. Select this. And select this. So this I think has to go a little more back side, right side. So select this from the top end and just start pushing it more back. Right. 
मैंने सेलेक्ट कर दिया ये कौन सा है ये सर तो तो ये कर देंगे कैमरा बिल्कुल फिल्टर कर दो तो दिस फिल्टर दिस प्लेस आई मीन टू जस्ट आल्सो ट्विन द कैमरा एज वेल सो सेलेक्ट द कैमरा नाउ गो टू चैनल बॉक्स एंड अनलॉक राइट क्लिक अनलॉक सेलेक्टेड and if you just want to fill or tilt or rotate the camera so this is what we have the rotation so which axis you want to rotate uh, this camera so select it and we have this rotation of this camera so how much you want this is plus 10 for this rotation so minus 5 uh, let's give minus 2 So how much? Uh, I just want to fill that. Uh, I can just fill the camera. Also. So it is tilted. We have this option which you can hold and uh, you can just fill the camera position to match the scene. How the scene is also. Okay. So uh, how much you want? So minus three or ten? So how much you want it for that? So if the tilt is there, so I just approximately can just do and later you can just fix that camera. So you just fix that. Because the shape will be little tilted, so I just give around minus two. Approximately, how much I can give? That will be too much. So let's make it minus two. Okay, so now let's select this face, and we can just start extruding this out. So select all this face. And we can just go to side by side. So go to the panels. And here we can see that there are yeah levels. Two side by side, so I can just see this as a perspective view, and this will be my camera. So while modeling, you can just see this, and while using this, lock the camera, lock selected, and I can just start working with this. So select the top part, and this all this thing has to extrude out. So select this, shift right click, extrude edge, W. And pull that up. Just want to close this now. So this is how the shape of that outer shape of this will be. Go to vertex, shift right click, merge, and this also. Merge it. Okay. So now we need to have some segments over here. Uh, we can just add some segments. Uh, now we have some basic. Geometry for this, which is approximately matching with the same scheme. Now, if I just go to the vertex, you see this. So, go to the top scene, start moving it little back. How much I can match with this? Uh, but don't try to move this uh, vertex like this. Just to match the camera uh, view, so it will distort the whole shape of the house. Okay. So uh, make sure that 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 is the problem with the camera. So that is not the problem with the model. Or uh, else I can just select a little bit this part. I just want to fix it a little on this side. Yeah. So this will be fine. So we can just see that how much I can just place it. So we can just see it over here. A little more back. You want to push? Can I call this? Just yes, see that. So I think this will be fine. Let's try it. And this side. Select this, and a little more towards left. The top part, little down. So let's see that is fine. Yes, this side. Little less. So one point I can just fix it now. Okay, so now we need to create all these different different shapes and the position of that. Uh, we already know where uh, that will be the position of that object now. So this is one uh, environment which we have. So if you just want to uh, go with some kind of right view, let's go to this right view. And if I just want to model this uh, using the spline tool, and then I'll just scale it according to the size of that. So just go to create. Is it your tool? Now let's start drawing this in the plan. So let's use this one. Okay. 
professor and go to press w modify center pivot and you call the address is press b and i think center pivot was there and then go to revolve so go to modeling again surface and revolve this is y axis to y axis and apply and it is reversed so that to go to surface reverse the direction of it Okay, so anything you want to modify or tweak, I suggest you go to the curve, right click, right click, control vertex, and you can just start seeing that you can go out. Shift. This I want to put it inside. This you can go out. Okay, so later I can just convert into polygon. So you have this shape, and I think I can just put it more up. And we also have something which is inside the bulk part of that. So press four, and just create that also inside. So you can just define the shape of that. So go to create again curve. Go to so just do from here. Yeah. So that's the shape of that. Will be like this. So something which I just want to change it little bit. Press enter. And here we have some different things. And let's go to object and revolve it. Modify center pivot again. B. Adjust it. Press enter and revolve. So go to the curve. Vertex again. And it is overlapping like this, it fits that way. Go object. Okay, so we have this. Now we can just group this object uh, together. So we don't need any of this curve now. So we can just uh, first delete this key for this. So I think delete all by type is three. So the curve will be not attached to that and just delete it. I don't think I just made that the same way. And convert that into polygon. So go to modify. Convert curves to polygon. And here you can just choose that as a control point, not as a count. So I can just apply that and this is a polygon element if you have. Again for this. So the modify now again convert not to polygon this also now we don't require this surface delete it and once you press three on your keyboard it will be smooth so whatever this object has created now just name this this is lab underscore G E O so name everything and let it just lab one. And this one we will accept. So control G, group it, and then that underscore GRP. Okay, so GRP is for the group, and I just select this, go to modify, set up keyword again, and we have this. So press B, I just want to adjust the pivot point over here, so I can just place it inside my same topic. Okay, so now here it is, and I just want to fix it into my scene. Uh, go to the perspective view, so we know exactly where I'm placing that, and this is too big. So let's scale that down. And I think it has to go back a little, so place it over here. How much part that will be from the window? And it has to go up. Okay, so it is matching it according to the scene now. So whatever the light is there and all these things, okay, just show five. So it is the exact position of that uh, inside the sound. So once you do the camera matching, you know where the all the objects will be inside the scene. 
And accurately, you can uh, place that object. So I just want to make this little dark. So it is that's fine. So it is floating. So I just need to make it such as the wall. That's it. So press five, four, and it's fine. Now I need to create some uh, more shapes over here. So camera is locked. So camera I cannot adjust. Now just start modeling all these different different parts over here. So if I just want to model this over here, and what all this uh, shape is there. So you can just start creating this shape from the same. I can I can just select these faces. Go to shift right click, insert edge loop tool. Just want to draw this loop. So what will happen over here is if you want to have a separate shape. I can just select that as a separate shape now for this. Select this faces and uh, shift right click. I just want to have a duplicate face of that. So it will create one more abstract copy of that and I can just pull it outside like this. How much thickness I want. So it is better we have separate separate objects uh, when we are doing that. Uh, Option uh, phase work. So we have this one. Now, what things you have to do? So you select all these things. Uh, you just need to extrude it inside. So let's select extrude, extrude it, and push it over. G, push it back. This one, press G, and push it. Just want to close that, and here anyway we are not seeing anything uh, because inside the camera what is there, there I just model that one. So we just have this. Now again, insert edge loop tool, select this, and this part I just need to extrude this out little. So shift right click, extrude things, and little extrusion will be there for this. Yes. Now go to the camera view. Do panel surface to camera view. Press four, and we have that. Okay. So now another surface which we need to do it over here. So let's do the blocking first for this object. So where this object is, so go to the polygon cube. Let's start adding the blocking space for this. So this is perfect here. Let's go for, I just don't need this outline at all. Yes, I was perfect. So this should be perfect here. And I don't need this also, so due to the channel blocks, I can see more region now when I'm working on it. Now select this object and let's just try to place it where that object should be. So it is on this wall. So start placing that over here, select this up. So this is the position of that, press R, let's start scaling it out. Let's start placing it here. So press 5. And then just start placing it at the same place. I, I just don't need this much thickness for this. Okay, select this. So that will be fine. So even on this edge, we can select little out. So uh, that shape, you have to understand uh, how we have to create that shapes over here. Now go to vertex, start adjusting. This one. And this one, press R, let's pull it down. Okay, so how the shapes uh, of this will be, so I can just uh, start adding the segments. So I just open this reference again out here. So I just open that reference again. So I just want to check it because here it is not much clear. So how these shapes are there. So I can just zoom in and check that how this shape is there. Till there and how smooth that objects are there. So here. Who reads books in bar? <laughs> okay. 
So we have this now, and this so like previously we played with the basket, right? So this we need to create the basket the same way. Okay. Okay. So let's create that now. All this, and if you want to create this shape also, you can just start duplicating that shape. Uh, so if you want to create little bit of high poly model, so this either we can do using the texture, or if you want to create the uh, model itself here, you can just add segment and then or duplicate. One thing you create and just duplicate it also. Okay, so let's create this uh, shape and we have this now. So let's start adding the segments. Should right click inside a group tool, just add it here. And let's start extruding this out. So shift and right. Shift and double click so it will select the whole loop. And shift right click extrude face. Bring this out. This will be a little bit of thickness for that. Okay, so what we can do is we can give some kind of bevel for the rounded edges, right? So we can also add some segments. So we add insert edge loop to here. So I just need a little bit of roundness for that, the car. Just scale it. Little more. And here also. So how much you want that segments to be added, you can just add here also. Here also. And double click on this. So press R and just make it more rounded shape. So inside this loop only I'm just trying to add that loop over here. Now this shape you want some roundness, you can just add a bevel to this. So double click on this. Just select this. See all these uh, places you want to have the bevel. Right? Press 4. So four is a shortcut. One, three, and you can just select everything on this. So manually, I'm selecting this on this edges, and I have to do that. So shift right click and bevel edge to make the corner smooth. Otherwise, it will be too hard. So I just want to make this smooth. So how many segments you want? One, two, and three. And here you can adjust this this stuff. So it just need nice, nice and rounded like this. So I just use that. Now press 5 and you have this <coughs> round of the okay. uh, Now I'll just isolate uh, option we have it over here. So if I just click on this, I can isolate that object. And now we can just start connecting the segments. So go to this multi cut tool. Just start click and just click it right click. So there should be no end bond, so that is why we are just trying to do that now. So click it, click on this, right click. So down it is fine, uh, now everything looks fine on this, so that's what we have. So go to object now, come out of isolate, and now this happens. Okay, so little bit you want to adjust this uh, vertex over here, so just start adjusting this. Okay, so it will fit exactly in the same place. Now one book I just need to create and other things is just a duplicate copies of that book, same book. So let's see. <coughs> okay, so just only one book and I'll just have a copies of that. All the place which is placed on the top of it, and here we have some buttons. So let's start creating that shape. So, so let's see this again. I uh, go to create polygon cube. Let's go for perspective now. Panels uh, layout two side by side. So if you just go for this, we have. So, we have, so this is the cam. Now we have this book. So first get the proportion and scale of that. So I can just make this. So how much is the size of the book according to the scale? Let's place it. And this is on the top of that. So let's start adding this in the top. Or you can model everything and then you can scale it uh, from different scene. You can import also. 
if you have model all the separate separate uh, parts and you want to bring it over here, you can also do that. Okay, so finally, you can just fix that. If I break the scale of that, I just want to push it out there and let it go ahead that let's see. Is this thing? And right click, vertex, let's say this one, let it last. So I think I'll just see it now. Oh, a lot of this. So let's press R, pull it down. And we have it. Why do you put the sky gradient as to the sky gradient? Is it? Why do you put the sky gradient? No, I just need to see where that optics are there and to see that. Okay. So the placement of this I need to place. So we're just keeping that. And I'll do isolate now. So you can just go to this isolate and then you can start working on it. Now for this creating the book again, you can just select all these edges, double click. Shift right click, bevel. Increase the fraction, increase the number of segments over here. Now this part has to go inside. So select all this part. Shift right click, extrude face. You just want a little bit of thickness for the book. Okay, and then again press G, extrude it inside. So we have that as a paper also. So how much you want, uh, you can just start extruding this, so I think that this is fine. And you want more segments for this, for creating the paper, so I, I will not use that uh, same uh, thing on this. So you just know something is wrong happening on this. Okay, so when this extrude, extrude face. We also have this offset option, you can offset that over here by changing the values over here. So if I just make it. 0 0.002 or 0 0.005. So you can just offset this equally. Otherwise, when I am extruding, sometimes some errors which you are getting it over here. So you can just offset by 0 0.008 something. So it will equally divide that. Now just press extrude G and push it inside. So now we don't have any mesh problem over there. You can just see that. So this will be fine. Okay, so now we can separate this out. Uh, either you can use the textures or uh, you can just separate this out. So shift right click, extract face. So extract face will separate that uh, thing out from the book. So this is separate, the papers are separate. Now you can just have shift right click, insert edge book tool. And you want multiple segments. So click on multiple edges. Suppose if I want around 20. And if I just click on this, it will add 20 segments to this. So depending on that, I have to just change it. Or you can also add a texture to that. So it's up to you how you want to create that uh, objects. Uh, I'll just combine both the things now. So select this, this, I'll go to mesh and combine. I'm not merging the vertex, I'm just combining this object. And go to modify, center pivot. And let's have a duplicate copy of that. So what you can do is you can adjust the pivot point of this at down. So when you are scaling that, it will it will be easy instead of moving the vertex. Now it is in a proper place. Now start dragging and dropping it over here. So control G. Press R. Let's pull it up. Little like this. So the pivot point, if it is fine, you can just uh, set it quickly, control V again, make it work here. So it is the same book, and press R, let's scale this down. So some variation here inside the thickness of this. Okay, so some will be a little thick, some will be thin. Press size and you can just see. Okay, so we have this, uh, inside this also we can just see there are different options. So if you want to see with the material or if you want to see with the lights and here also we have uh, one more thing which you can see with the ambient operation. So you have different options over here uh, using this. So when I see with the ambient operation I can see the soft shadow like this and all this. So there are different options for the texturing and just checking that. So there is no light inside the scene 
So we can just see that there is no texture. Okay, so that is option like four, five, six, seven is for lighting. Okay, uh, six is for the texture, anything you want to see. Five is for uh, shaded, I mean four for wire shaded. Okay, so anything you want to smooth it out, three. Okay, so we have this. Now let's press code and you can just see that on this uh, element. So, but there is some button over there. So, let's add some circular button now in this same place. Paint isolate. We just want to add that. Okay. Okay, so to add the buttons again, go to create. Now, polygon, cylinder. Let's add that cylindrical shape over here. Press R, fill it down. Okay, so to move this uh, quickly to that certain point, so we can also press V on my keyboard and we can just snap to any of this vertex. So if I just want to quickly go to that, I can just snap it and we have this. Okay, so press R, fill it down, press E. And J, uh, you can hold J on your keyboard and rotate. So it will snap and rotate. And now I can just place it wherever I want this shape. Let's check that where it is coming. Up. So it is in the same place. So push it here. So where it is coming. Push it back. Now press R. Let's fill it. Don't push it out. Just fill it. You got 15 inch. Just R little. And all this uh, faces, what it will happen is it will be beveled. So, bevel it. Increase one more segment, and you have this high side of this. For this. So, now we just need to create this uh, shape of that. So, we can just use some, and we, we can just use an FFD uh, option for this. So, we can just use some kind of box. For creating this shape, and then I can just use FFT deformer for the use inside uh, Mac. So let's Why select it. Which one? The curved is to use for the lamp. Huh? You can also use that. You can also use using lock. You can make lock locks and create that shape. This is up to your wish, however you want. So you just start with cylindrical shape. And then it goes and the shape of this will change to a little bit of oval shape on the top. Sir, what is the use of chamfer? Chamfer also, it's fine. So, whichever you feel that it is fine. But if you want more smooth surface, mm -hmm. uh, so then we can just see that out. Okay, so if I just start with some kind of cylindrical shape, let's go for select, create, polygon, cylinder. And then how that shape of that will be so push this down. You just want to place it and just see the size of that. So we have to show this. Press 4. So I am working on that, it is not too much. And this is the size over here. Press R. So just try to match the scale of that over here. That is what. So this is for the below uh, surface, which I am trying to create that cylinder. Press R, fill it down. Okay, so that will be the cylindrical shape, which is over here, down. So press R, let's scale it with a more size, little up. And this is okay, so start from this shape. And you don't need this. Uh, uh, number of segments over here. So you can go for this and reduce the number of segments. So I can start with 8. So keep as less segments as uh, required and now you can just start working on this shape. So top part, so top caps also what I can do is you can just uh, delete now, it is not required. So I don't need any of this which is later I will just add and correct it. Delete. Now let's go for the base. And how this will change. So let's move till the till this part. 
when I will try to change the shape of that only to show how this should be. The back side will be flat and this is what the gap so you can say scale it. I need to scale it more like this. Okay, so whatever the other shapes are there, we just start modeling that to get that over here. So it's XW. Okay, so this is what the blocking will be doing and uh, go to the vertex, select this, make it flat. So little roundness will be there. So now let's start adding the segment. So what are the top part? Select the faces, delete. I don't need that. And we can just start adding our segments to match that. Select this insert input tool. So so many are there. So you can just reset the tool. Reset, and then you start working on this. Now the shape of this only. Just R again, scale it like this. Bring it down. Press R again. Scale it. So this is what the shape of this is working. Okay, so more rounds. Uh, you can just keep less segments. It will be much easy. Insert input tool again. Start adding it. Press R. Scale it little. Just to give that roundness over there. So just select this. Insert input tool. Start adding it here. Let's select this and press R and scale it a little more inside. Press 5. So we are getting that shape of it. Okay, so I think it is too wide. So go to the vertex, start adjusting this as well. And as it comes forward, it will be straight. So select this. Press Q. Uh, press R. Let's scale it as well. So I just want the shape of that. Here also select this. Maybe there's too much out. Select this. Let it scale inside. It's fine. Okay. So now uh, press 3 and check that. So whatever this. Uh, Segment insert edge loop tool, add one segment on this. You can just add some segment, it will be flat. And let's start adding this top part here. So select this whole edge, double click, shift right click, extrude edge, press R, let's scale it down. Again, G, R, scale it down on here. Again, G, and press it in. And start scaling it down. Okay, so this is what you can just start uh, working on this shape. Go up. And again, add extrude edge, press R, and scale it inside like this. And on the top, we need one more plate. So we can just add this. You can copy from the same surface, right? So you can just have this, all these faces selected. They will be separate. And I'll just duplicate the face and extrude that out to give that shape of it. So select this shape, shift right click, duplicate face, and we have it. We can just select the faces, shift right click, extrude, and push it up. This is what they can do. So you don't see the shape change. When I press 3 and 3, it will be there. So you want uh, uh, this to be a little bit of more uh, precise, so you can add some segment on this. So insert edge loop tool. If you want not much rounded on there, you just want a little flat. Yeah. So just start adding uh, in this uh, back shape what is over here now. So little scale and just need to do it according to the scene. So press R, let's scale it little wide. Just fine. 
in the system. And this top shape again, it has a few some other objects over there. Okay, so each of these shapes you can start uh, modeling now. So this part, now I need to adjust this part over here, which is the curtain and all these things. We can model that using the plane. So let's uh, do this. Even this shape is also similar. So uh, you can just start with some kind of uh, what you can use for this. So you can just use some kind of cylindric uh, sphere also. If you want to try with some kind of sphere, you can try or you want to try with box. Box also will be fine. So let's try this. Just add, adding that separate, separate shapes. So, so I can modify for the for folds. Ah, folds. So with no poly, you need to make sure that you model. No modify. No there will be wave modifier which you can apply. Uh, there is something called wave modifier that uh, I will be showing. So if you want to use for the curtains, uh, go to the plane. Any of the plane you just create or do. Which one? Yeah. Huh. So here if you have a clock also, you can add that. So if you have like this and you just want to use uh, increase the number of segments now, like this, and we have something called deformers over here. So go to deform, and here you can just see there are lots of deformers. So I to go to nonlinear, and here we have something called waves. So once I click on this wave deformers, I think I can adjust that amplitude of that. So if I increase this, and it will show the direction of that. So you need to rotate this in this direction. And this is the amplitude of this, and it is having too much uh, over here. So you can increase the wavelength for this. And amplitude is too much, reduce the amplitude of this. So we don't need this much, so 0.02. And wavelength, so how much you want this wavelength to be. So little more amplitude will work for so 0.05 like this. So you can just add that fully. And you can also change this, so if I just want to move somewhere over there, I need to also adjust the radius of this. Wavelength, you can also have this over here. So wave is there, and one more is sign. So even this will give the same result, but this is more uh, proper, so you can just press this. Rotate that, and increase the amplitude of this, so sign will do this kind of Okay, so that will be more proper. So instead of wave, so 0 0.02 or 0 0.2, and increase this wavelength. Reduce that. So you can just see more of that. So the amplitude is more. So 0 0.02, and increase this or reduce this wavelength to much more smaller size and little amplitude. 0 0.02, 0 0.05. So you can just start seeing that. How much you want? So, you start. so depending on this uh, mesh, how much smooth that object is. So if I increase the polycon now more, so if I make it 100, so you'll see much better result. Here also, if I just make it 100 by 100, 100 by 100. So you'll see much better folds there. So depending on this mesh, uh, how much we are using it, uh, we can just reduce that now. So 0 0.02. So just check that. 0 0.01 is fine. So how much you want it? Now if you want to bend also, you can use another deformer. So you can add one more deformer called bend. So which direction you want to bend that? So curvature you can use and increase the curvature amount. So now it is bending like this. This is a curvature. Okay, so this is the direction of this deformer. So how I change the direction of this deformer, you can just see that how things behave according to that. So okay, so we have the deformer. So if I just make it zero, all the values for the rotation just make everything zero. 
So we have this P form R is working now. You can see that rotation now. And it is working on both the sides. Uh, so when the bend is there, if you want to work only on one side, you can make this zero. So now it is working only on the one side of the bend. You can just see that how it is bending now. So if I just want to change like this, and this has to be changed over here. So you can bend that curtain whichever the direction you want. Okay, so the curvature is too much, press 4. The curvature is too much, so you can reduce the curvature amount over here. So you can just do whatever the setting you want with this. How we want this bend deformer to be? We increase it more depending on this rotation of that. Okay, but the number of segments should be more uh, when we are doing that. So it is better we can just keep the low uh, poly of that and we can manually adjust that. So it will be too much heavy if you see that this kind of uh, when we are creating this image. So press 5 and we have it. But instead of that we can model it uh, using there be less number of segments because we don't need so many segments. So wherever it is required that uh, you add it. So let's create another object now to start adding uh, different objects. Go to create again. Polygon primitives, Q. Let's add the basic blocking of this and see it over here first. Okay, so how much big that will be? Here, here, place it. So, first thing you have to do is only the blocking of your scene uh, to match over here. So, select this, scale it, select this, push it up. Select that and you can see it inside here. So I think this is too big. So just push it back. This is very corner and it is touching that wall and select this face now. Let's start adjusting and pushing it back. <coughs> I think this will be the place and this is the height of it. Okay, so just see it in this side also whether it is uh, going beyond this wall. We don't want this to go beyond this wall, so this is inside and this is inside. Okay, so now, uh, so if you want that round red shape, right, uh, if I just using this polygon and you want that round shape, you can always uh, smooth all through again. So if I just go to mesh and if I just apply some kind of smooth, you already get that uh, shape over here. Okay, so as soon as I apply the smoothness or you just do one segment for this polygon segment. Now, since I have adjusted the faces, if I try to adjust the segment, it will distort the mesh. So we can just go for this smooth, go to mesh, and uh, go for this one smooth. So one, it will add more subdivisions for this. And I don't need this top part. Delete this now. Delete it out. And we got this already the rounded shape of this. So let's start adjusting that. Go for this, press R, let's scale it up. Scale like this. And the top part should be more scaled. So select this top part, double click on this, and it should be scaled like this. And scale it flat. And this part, again select this edge, and you just need to scale it up. Okay, so bottom part is already done now. I can just select the vertex within it. Select all this, pull this up, press 5 to check that. So it should not go beyond that range. So press R, scale it. So go to the vertex, start adjusting this part. Okay. It should not go beyond that. Okay, so now select this part and you can just start adjusting. So if you want more uh, shape to be changed over here, you can always adjust that. Scale it, push it down. So if I press 3, it is like this. Any place you feel that the shape has to be changed. So go to insert edge, go to add one segment and just start 
adjusting the shape of this. I want a little more like this. Now go to the edge, stop it. Start adjusting this uh, shape of that over here. And then start adjusting it. Shift right click, H2 edge, R, let's scale it down. Again, G, R, scale it down. Again, G, W, scale it down. Again, G, G is a shortcut to repeat the same tool and I'm just using that one. Get that. Okay, so anything you want to change now? So you feel that uh, this is like too much high now, so you can just start adjusting. There is one more deformer for that. So here inside this deform, uh, here we can just see there are many options. So we also have lattice. So this is nothing but the FFD box what we use inside Max. So if I just click on that, it will ask for how many points you want to add and apply. Select a different topic, select this, apply, and we get this kind of deformer. I can change it. So, if I want here more, this segments you want to reduce. Now, this will uh, work like a FFD, so right click, lattice point, and I can just start adjusting the shape of this. It is much better. So, you just want to pull it down like this. So this part only you just want to adjust the shape of this. So let's select this part. You just want to pull it. Okay, so this is what that lattice deformer will do. So how the shape of that you want to change it. You can just start pushing and changing that one. So here. So everything you can change and go to optic mode. And you will have that shape also. Okay, so to come out of this lattice deformer, if I try to move this object out, it changes the shape. So that history will be always there. So if I just move this down, you can just say. Okay, so if you don't want that to be, so it's sometimes if you want to scale the scene and all. You have to make sure that we either group both these objects or delete the history from them. So once you delete the history, that is delete all by that history, now you can move inside the scene. Okay, so anything you want to adjust again, you can adjust it again on the top of it. Yes, fine. Or uh, here, uh, if you want a little bit of flat, so we'll go for this and let's make this. So this shape is wrong. So you can just make that flat also. Okay, so using this also you can do. So I don't need this lattice deformer and press one. Since we have less number of polygon, it is easy for us to adjust. So I just select these two shapes and I just want to make it flat over here like this. So these two vertex and just make it over here. So just little flatness. So we have press three and you get this. Okay, so that's so if it is less number of segments, it is much better, which will also is much easy for us to control. So let's scale this down. So let's move it down like this. Okay, so now to create some uh, wall or hole over here, uh, again you can just start adding some segments or you can do boolean for that. In this place, if you just want to do boolean, uh, we can also do the boolean for this particular place. You can just use some, since the surface is nice and smooth over here. Okay, so you can just use some kind of boolean uh, place over there in this place. Or we need to add uh, some segments over here, which and I have to make it say, so select this, let's do it, press R, and let's fill it down. And this I need to make it circular shape. So you can add some more segments, at least minimum of eight segments are required. So insert a group tool, add one here, here also. And now you can just select these spaces. Shift right click and we have circularized components. So it will give that nice round shape for us. 
Let's see this. So I think it has to be round in this. And this is the size here. We delete. So whatever this uh, things are there, just start adjusting and just start getting the shape of this button. Can you even see that? Okay, so this is done and anything you want to add some kind of smooth surface on here. I am not going to smooth this out. What I am doing is I will just add something uh, smooth surface over there. Because if I just try, try to smooth that out, so if I press 3, and this is what will happen. Okay, so what you can do is you can just separate that and uh, you can use that segment. Or this should have a lot of number of segments for this. So it should have uh, one bevel also over here and then you can use it. Okay, so instead of smoothing that out, what I can do is I can just use one cube or cylindrical shape which is much smoother. Uh, let's see something with this over here. Let's select this edge. Shift right click, extrude edge, press R, spin it down, and this I will extract. And then I'll just use that. So this is separate face. And extract that. So shift right click, extract faces and you have a class? Press R, let's scale this now. and extrude this out little bit and this is what we will do just smoothing that out so press 3 and that will be fine so we don't have to smooth the whole surface we already got that smooth uh, surface by adding extra face press R now go to modify center keyboard and just give some kind of thickness for this and it will be inside this, so you can start picking it over here. Press 1, insert edge loop tool, let's start adding loop. And this I can extrude it a little more back, so just to have some space over here. So press 3 now, it will be fine. Okay, so you don't have to smooth that wall, uh, you can just smooth this surface. If you just want to push it more back, then it's fine. Just check with how much you can push that. It's fine. Okay. Let's try this. 